Hi everyone, today we're going to be working on the commenting system, very simple one, without control panel, just the front end. You'll see how you can activate uh, all these comments through the control panel. By default, we're going to have them all active when they are entered onto the system. Uh, you can set it up to uh, to be inactive uh, to start with and just use the moderation to obviously make the record active and display on the front end. Now, how it's going to work? Uh, as you can see, we have there are currently no comments. If we put some name and some email address, I'm just going to use dummy at dummy email.com. Uh, and let's say my first comment. Now, if I click on a submit comment, you can see the comment has been added and is displayed right at the top with the date, my name, and the comment itself. Now, if I want to remove this comment, simply click on the remove and the comment uh, is removed from the list. You can add as many comments as you obviously want. Removing, we're not going to be restricting this. You can do it if you need to. This is just basically to give you a, a, a rough overview how comments work and then you can do all the restrictions, all the active inactive states and so on. So let's start with our editor. If we go to the, uh, the editor uh, with the exercise files, you have access to the CSS folder with the, with the core.css file, images folder with a the button.png, then you have index.php file, which has already our CSS and JavaScript files included. If you go to the JS folder, you'll find uh, core.js and the latest version of jQuery. So inside of our index.php, we're going to start with diff with the ID wrapper. Inside of this wrapper diff, we're going to have comments. So diff with the ID comments. And under the comments, we will have, uh, I'm just going to scroll up a little bit. Under the comments, we'll have the form which will allow us to submit the new comments. So form with the method uh, post. Inside of this form, we start with a table with the class TBL insert. After this, we have first table row. Inside of this table row, we have TD with the input tag, input type text, name full underscore name. Then we have I'm going to put on a new line, class, field, and placeholder, your full name with a star to indicate that it's a mandatory field. Okay, we're not going to be doing any validation, by the way. The validation, again, is something I've done uh, several tutorials for, so please refer to these ones. Uh, if we won't put anything in the field, then the form simply won't submit. That's what we're doing within this tutorial. Then the next one, if we copy, and paste underneath, we're going to have email and obviously your uh, email address for the placeholder. If we copy the same thing again and paste it underneath, this time we need to replace it uh, with the text area, uh, with the name comment, class area. Then we have placeholder, your comment, and closing text area tag. After this, we create another table row with the table cell and a href with the hash, then class button submit. And inside, we in between uh, the opening and closing a tag, we have submit comment. So our form is now ready. Uh, let's move to the next video.